What's up, YouTubers? I told you guys I'd make you a par video, or uh, try to explain par. Most people still use the watts per gallon rule. It's a little flawed. So that's why I wanted to make this, had people ask. And I think it's just good general knowledge to know the way things are going in the planted tank world. If you're reading online, you see the number or the word par. It's a little confusing. So I'm going to try to, it's more so a summary. I can't describe every bulb or light put what your par would be. I mean, if you want to try to message me, tell me to look for it, I can. I mean, I'll talk about it a little bit in here, but not all the info is readily available. That's one of the issues right now, the par, like the whole par thing. All right, I made notes on my computer. I'm gonna read it off and uh, okay, let's get going guys. All right, first things first why we want to use par versus watts per gallon. Um, first, let's talk about why watts per gallon is technically flawed. You have two 20 gallon tanks. One is a 20 long, one is a regular 20. Technically you call it 20 high, 20 tall. All right, put the same light over both tanks. They're both 20 gallons, both same light, your watts per gallon are going to be different. Say these are both 20. Or your watts per gallon will be exactly the same because you have the same exact setup. But the intensity of the light on the 20 long, since the light or the tank is shorter, the intensity of that light is way more right here at the substrate level than it would be at the 20 high. That right there is a perfect example of watts per gallon being flawed. It's the par numbers you're looking for. And par varies by height from the substrate to where the light is. That's why watts per gallon doesn't really break it down for you 100%. My light's right here, this one's right here, I can move it up or down, thus changing the par level of the light. Um, there's a couple of reasons why this is flawed. The second one would be, okay, we have two 20 gallon tanks. Both are the same size this time, both 20 longs. One is using, say, T5HO, and the other one's using an LED, like Phoenix, Fugray, whatever, Ray 2. They make a couple of them. To my knowledge, I'm almost 100%, the LED one is going to use less wattage. Doesn't necessarily mean the PAR level or the light intensity for the plants is lower, but you would assume it is because, hey, the watts are lower, my plants must not be getting enough watts per gallon. But in the end, I bet the par value is very similar. If you find the par numbers for both of them, and if you put it at the height, you're going to see the par is very, very similar, and the watts are probably significantly different. So that's another thing. Third, let's see. Oh, like I was saying earlier, height. Two 20-gallon tanks, same light. Both T5, dual T5s. One tank has it elevated about right here. The other one's sitting right on the top, right on the glass. Well, obviously again, the one that's sitting up here, it's gonna be less intense hitting the substrate, thus equaling less par at the substrate. Most of the times you wanna know substrate level par, especially for people trying to carpet plants. These are all going tall because they're trying to get towards the light, thus, they want to, or they're getting closer and higher into par value. So that's why you might notice on some of your plants, leaf structure looks different at the bottom than it does up top because the top ones are absorbing way more light because the par value is higher. So I hope right there that shows you right in the beginning why par is more important than watts per gallon. Both, like you can't just get a general figure watts per gallon and assume it's gonna be the same on any 20 gallon or any setup with the same light. It's all about where it is, and that goes same for par, where the bulb is sitting versus the tank. Like, to, you wanna know right to the substrate. You wanna know your par value. So, um, let's see. All right. I kinda of wrote this out on my computer, like a paper actually for you guys. So, did a little bit of research. Uh, Hoppy on plant the tank. He has a great write-up about it. I'll link it. And uh, I got a lot of my information from there. It's a great read if you guys have the time. Um, let's start talking about what 
mo why most people are interested in par. A lot of people in the aquarium world have heard the word par, but don't necessarily know what it means because it's a confusing thing. Um, we know watts per gallon, we know wattage on bulbs, so par is a little different. Um, par actually stands for photosynthetically active radiation. Okay. The radiation, aka light, is used by the plants for photosynthesis. Par is a way lights or par is a way plants see light intensity. Humans see it via lux. When we see intensity in lights, it's it goes on a range of lux. But for plants, because they have to do photosynthesis, they see it via par. Plants absorb uh, actually a lot of blue and red, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have it written down but they reflect a lot of green and yellow. That's why reflecting green and yellow, everything in here is pretty much green or yellow. I mean, some plants are, are reflect other colors, but in general, you'll see most of them are green or yellow. Um, you guys have a general idea of what PAR is now, like very, very basics. You know what it stands for, you know what it does. I'm gonna explain to you guys different par outputs, low, medium, high, what the numbers you're looking for, if you find the par value of your bulb, and how to measure it, really. Um, let's talk about measuring par. Just like we do for light, you can get a lux meter to measure the intensity of the light. Um, for par, you can get a par meter. They're pretty expensive. That's why most of the time people don't have them, thus making your whole uh, finding the par available for your planted bulb or your your lighting system hard to find I mean a lot of the information is online we're in a good point like in this day and age internet is a lifesaver I can type in par value for stock fluval spec V lighting a lot of results don't come up it's very very skewed answers some people say something same people say the other um, occasionally though you'll have people nice enough on a forum has a par meter if they know somebody has light they'll test it for you but they don't have every light sitting around um, luckily, brands like Phoenix, they're, uh, they know they're making a product for the planted tank pretty much. It's an LED bulb. They give you the PAR output, like the chart, on their website. And I'm going to show you guys the chart, how you're going to read it. If you see a PAR chart, you're going to see pretty much like an X and a Y column. You got your height and your distance. And essentially, let's break this down right here. This light, it's a... CFL spiral bulb there's a whole article about using these bulbs and why they're great if you get a bulb pointing down like this on these ones the par value is significantly more versus if the bar was laying or the light bulb was laying this way um, and good reflectors is obviously key but okay say this is probably a foot away from the substrate we'll say 12 inches say right here directly below where the bulb is shining I have a par of like 72. I'm making this number up, by the way, guys. We're going to say 72. So right here, it's 72. Now you have to understand light spreads. So the further you get from the focal point of the light in inches, your par is getting reduced. So it's 72 right here, 62, 50. Actually, it's probably going to be a lot bigger reductions like that. It's going to be 72. 50, 30, 20, and maybe like 10 here. And then obviously, if I bring this up a couple inches, this whole par right below it changes from 72 to 50 just by changing it a couple inches. That's why dialing in your lights is very important. Obviously, the two most important things from what I've been reading in a planted tank is your lighting and CO2. Proper CO2 will make the world of a difference in your tanks. I don't run it because this light right here, the stock one of the Fluval, it's low par output I, from what I've read. I don't have proof. I don't have a par meter, but I'll take the word from what I found online. Um, let's see. So, I mean, say you have your T5 or a whole, uh, yeah, just say you have a T5 across the top of your, your aquarium. Um, right where the center where it falls to hits the gravel, that will be the most intense area going away from it like this, like sideways across your substrate. It reduces the intensity and your par value drops the further away you go. So usually if you have high demanding plants, 
you want them right under the light versus your plants that are going to get taller they'll go towards the par and they'll get taller and taller and taller but these ones down here if they're carpeting plants you want the light to be hitting them as hard as you can because they're going to stay low and if they don't have enough par you'll actually see carpeting plants get very tall to get the most light output they can get um yeah like i said most reputable plants like phoenix they give all their information available straight to the public they know you're gonna buy the light for a planted tank or a reef or even reef guys need to know par because corals all that to my knowledge all use par same basis um they're gonna give you the par value luckily it's getting more and more readily available so it helps out in selecting what you want to get all right so par is measured you're gonna see a number this portion guys i got several mixed results i'm gonna go from hoppy's thread on plant the tank it seemed very accurate and from what i was reading on other places it's probably the most accurate i'm gonna give you the ranges of par you got 15 to 30 par uh micromoles or something like that i believe is what they're called 15 to 30 is low par output you got your low light plants i mean this tank from this what i've read this is a 12 at the substrate right here this is going to be about 12 to 15 on this tank very low light hitting right at the minimum of low light but as you can see i've had success i mean this has helped a lot this bulb when i do run it the occasional times um 30 to 50 or 35 to 50 you're in medium light territory which hey that that's going to grow pretty much what most people want medium lighting is is great you can usually get away with dosing you don't need a full co2 setup but you might want to be weary if you're on the high end of that um co2 may be needed to avoid nuisance algae but doesn't mean if your tank's balanced out you won't need it hopefully um anything more than 50 you are in the high light territory you better get some co2 going because yeah you're gonna see a very algae covered tank um so if you see the like the specific light you're looking for and you see the par is above 50 and your tank is really shallow so it's like for some reason this bulb if it was sitting here it'd be perfect par it'd be right around 30 but your tank is shallow and you have it sitting right here and it's like 50 or 70 or something ridiculous you're gonna want to raise your light up unless you got a great co2 system raise your light up get yourself that par output you want Raising your light, lowering it will achieve that. And obviously, like we said, it spreads left to right or back and front away from the main center focus. The par is going to reduce. So that's another good thing to remember. Um, like I said, those numbers um, that I found, 15 to 30, 30 to 50, anything above 50, low, medium, high. Those numbers, some websites might say different. I mean, I'm just giving you guys a general idea, trying to explain it trying to make par under like a little more understandable if you do have questions if something doesn't make sense message me i can reply to you i can make another video if i need to i'm learning myself while trying to teach you guys so it's a it's a roller coaster um this is a really interesting subject and i feel it's a very important subject that's why i wanted to make this video it took a while to make it but like i said you guys gotta understand why watts per gallon is a little flawed doesn't necessarily mean it won't work. Most people have good luck with it even till day, but if you know your plant requires a specific amount of par and you can achieve that, but no more, then you're gonna have a really balanced tank because you're not gonna go crazy in the lighting, then you can keep it minimal and hit everything you need and keep them growing without going crazy and just filling it up with algae. So. Find a PAR chart for your guys' light if you can. Look it up. Type in Google your specific light and PAR chart or PAR values. You might get lucky. You might find a whole chart about it. Some people have full charts about them, but others usually don't. There's a whole uh, thread on the CFL bulbs using them as lighting. They produce excellent PAR values. But, I mean, some people aren't going to want to hang a lamp like this i only run it for additional lighting when i do my water changes and maybe an hour a day because i don't want some algae outbreaks going because of it stock lighting has been treating me well everything's pretty much low light in here and if it isn't it's magically growing from either light right back there i have a window or that lamp 
or the stock bulb, who knows. Um, oh, the Emerald Dwarf Daniel I had that I was showing you guys looked bloated and stuff. I think it had dropsy, you guys. It ended up passing away actually yesterday. Um, I'm going to try to get a couple more of them. It's hard to find them locally. That's the only issue, so. I'm trying not to order more fish because I'm in the middle of moving, but if I can find them locally, I will pick some up. All right. Um, I think that covers par, guys. Gives you good understanding of what to expect, what the numbers mean, and what par actually is for plants. It's how they see the light and how photosynthesis is affected by the par output. I really hope this was helpful. I understand it might still be really confusing. Like I said, message me. I will update this if I need to. I will make a new video, but like I said, I'm learning with you guys. I'm trying to learn and get it out to you guys. All right, well, hope you guys have a great week. Take care.